Hi everyone, Laura here. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make paper frames three ways. I made these little frames as part of Do Crafts design team. I'll link the post and their blog down below. Let me show you the three versions I'll be making today. So this is the standard frame. The second one is the wide border frame. And the last one is a deep frame. Let's start with the basic frame. This is the frame I made before to show you as an example and it fits really well to a 5 by 7 inches card or print. You'll find the measurements on my blog. Let's get started. First I took my scoreboard and my double sided paper and scored each side at 3 eighths of an inch, 3 quarters of an inch, 1 and 1 eighth inches and 1 and a half inches. I really love this paper which is part of a paper pad I found at the works. It's called Botanical Nature and it's double sided. After scoring the paper, I cut away the small squares formed by the intersection of the scored lines. I picked two sides, the shorter ones, and with my ruler and pencil I marked Creates of an inch and the third scored line on each side. Then I traced a trapezoid shape on each side of the two flaps. Took the scissors again and trimmed the shapes traced earlier. If you visit my blog, you'll find a template for this frame, which could be useful. I folded all the scored lines and burnished them with my bone folder. As you can see, the frame starts to take shape already. I rolled the sides towards the inside of the frame. I added a bit of double sided tape on the sides to keep them into place. Then I rolled the longer sides and tucked them under the shorter ones. So this is how you do the basic frame. Now I'm going to show you how easily you can make a deep frame using the same steps as the basic one, 
with only a few adjustments. Like before, I took my scoreboard and my paper. This time I used 8 by 8 inches paper. And I scored my paper on all the sides at 3 eighths of an inch, 1 and 1 eighth inches, 1 and a half inches and 2 and a quarter inches. You can see the scored lines, so I have a narrow strip, a wider one, another one narrow and a wide one. This will create the deep border. I traced the score lines with a pencil so you can see better the shape I'm creating. As before, I took my ruler and pencil and marked each side and traced the trapezoid shape. Using my scissors, I cut away the squares from by the intersection of the score lines. Then I shape the two sides, as you can see. I folded and burnished all the sides. Then rolled all the sides towards the inside of the frame and glued them into place. So this is how you create the deep border frame. The last frame I'm making is a white border frame. This time I use a 12 by 12 inches paper. I scored each side on 3 quarters of an inch, 1 and 1 eighth inches, 1 and 7 eighth inches and 2 and a quarter inches.
as you can see the scored lines are a bit similar to the ones from the deep frame except now I started with a white strip instead of a narrow one. After scoring the paper I trimmed the corners. With my ruler and pencil I marked 3 quarters of the inch instead of 3 eighths of the inch like for the other frames and the third score line on each side as the trapezoid shape needs to be deeper. Don't worry if you missed any of the measurements, as you can find them in a post on my blog, and I'll link it below. If you visit my blog, you'll find templates for all the frames as well. I trimmed the two sides and then folded and burnished everything. Hold the sides towards the inside of the frame and glue them into place. I think the most difficult part is tucking those corners. You have to make sure all the lines are scored properly, everything is burnished really well and rolled carefully, as any little mistake can make your frame look wonky. So there you have it, three pretty frames, perfect for your cards, photographs or craft projects and you can make them any size. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I do hope you'll try making these frames. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be notified about my future videos. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again soon.